Nonverbal Reasoning Type 6 Figure Matrix In these questions, you are given a 3x3 three three matrix with different shapes in it. One of the shapes is missing. The shapes in a row follow a certain rule. You must find this rule and apply this rule to the row with a missing shape to find the shape from amongst the answer choices. Examples Number 1. You are given a set of figures in the form of a grid, all of them following the same rule. You must analyse the complete sets, find out the common rule, and then find the missing figure in the incomplete set. Row 1. Shapes. In each row, there are three identical shapes. Shading. One shape has no shading, one shape has a quarter of it shaded, and the third shape has a half of it shaded. Row 2. Shapes. Identical shapes. Shading. One shape has no shading, one shape has a quarter of it shaded, and the third shape has a half of it shaded. The same rule must be applied to row 3. The missing shape must look exactly like the other two, with half of it shaded. The correct answer is C. Number 2. You are given a set of figures in the form of a grid, all of them following the same rule. You must analyse the complete sets, find out the common rule, and then find the missing figure in the incomplete set. Row 1. Shapes. In each row we have two lines, and the number of circles increases by 1 from left to right. Position. The circles are always situated next to the longer line. Row 2. Shapes. In each row we have two lines, and the number of circles increases by 1 from left to right. Position. The circles are always situated next to the longer line. We can eliminate C and D because the circles are next to the shorter line. The circles in the missing block must be above the longer line. We can eliminate A. The position of the lines in the first and third figures are identical. Correct answer is B. Number 3. You are given a set of figures in the form of a grid all of them following the same rule. You must analyse the complete sets, find out the common rule, and then find the missing figure in the incomplete set. This is an example of a combination of the shapes in a row. The first two figures have been placed one on top of the other to form the third figure. We must work out if the first figure is placed on top of the second figure or the second figure on top of the first figure. In row 2, if the first figure is on top of the second figure, then this line must be visible in figure 3. We can conclude that the second figure is placed on top of the first one. The circle in the middle must be white. The left half of the top circle must be grey. The correct answer is D. For practice questions on nonverbal reasoning type 6 figure matrix, visit us at www.11plusgenie.com.